Time for the uh, audience to ask you questions. Uh, planet Snatch. Uh, it was always nice to see a nice um, planet. Um, <laughs> <laughs> who, who would win, or who would win in a fight between the Star Trek captains, William Shatner or Patrick Stewart? I think we know what we're hinting at here, James. <laughs> James had a bit of a run-in with Patrick Stewart at an award ceremony. Well, it was so strange. It was so weird. And what was really confusing about it was that I gave him, like, a massive intro. Yeah, I know. I said, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome an actor who's held in such high esteem. He's God's own voice coach. Please welcome the brilliant Sir Patrick Stewart. And then he came up and did that. And so I was just... I was so confused by it. But, you know, um, who would win in a fight? I don't know. They're wonderful, wonderful actors, the pair of them. <laughs> William Shatner. So, <laughs> Kerry and Dan. Where's Kerry and Dan? There they are. Hello. Hiya. Now then, what's your question for James? Would you rather score the winning goal in the FA Cup for West Ham or win an Oscar? One of these things, James, let's face it, is never going to happen. And <laughs> I don't think West Ham have got no. an FA Cup winning in the middle. <laughs> uh, so, uh, I'd... Oh, man. I think I'd take the FA Cup. I'd take the, the score in the goal. Over and after. Uh, because winning awards is weird because you win them and you think it's great and you realise that everybody else hates you for it. <laughs> Whereas I think scoring a golf West Ham it would at least mean that all of those fans would, would love it. I couldn't think of anything better. Wembley, amazing. Yeah, definitely that. Natalie Jones. Where's Natalie? Oh, front row. Hello, Natalie. Hello. What's your question for James? Are you going to do another series of Gavin and Stacey? Good question. Um, <laughs> as it stands right now, no, is the truth. And, I, and, I'm, and li look, I would hate to think we would never write something again with those characters at some point, but it certainly won't be a series, I, I don't think, L. Thompson is in the audience. Where are you, L? Where are there you are? <laughs> Hello, L. Hi. Hi. Hi, uh, hi uh, what's your question for James? Right. Um, what do you think of Wales and would you ever marry a Welsh lass? Oh. <laughs> I love Wales. And yes, I would consider marrying a Welsh lass because nothing's off limits. That's, uh, <laughs> that's the greatest. That's the greatest thing. I mean this in an incredibly positive way. There is, it's all up for grabs. And that's, and that's what I want in a wife. Ladies and gentlemen, James Corden. <laughs> Thanks as well to the brilliant Carly Smallman and here to play us out live with the bike song and featuring Kyle Faulkner and Spank Rock, Mark Ronson the Business International. Conversation in my head And thinking of a place to be Sing a little melody instead I won't argue with myself Till my legs are getting some help